Hey Harmonizers, welcome to this video with Aoife the Mustang, formerly 8640, and she is progressing amazingly well. I'm going to show you guys a few little things that we're doing, including you can see she's got a fly mask on now while she's eating her grain, and I'm practicing getting her used to these outdoor stalls, which is where our horses get their grain during chores time, and I'd love for a staff to be able to bring her out and be able to feed her, so it's something that I want to make sure I get her comfortable with. And then I wanted to change her fly mask over to a different one that just seemed to potentially be more comfortable for her because it's got a spot for her forelock to go out from and also has a little piece to go over the nose to just help with some of those bugs. And you can see a little bit of the progress of how I just kind of introduce it gradually and slowly, just kind of petting her and letting her feel. And you can see she doesn't do anything um, like crazy. She just, you know, takes a little minute to get used to it and she might step away but it's no big deal we just kind of work on that and then here's a little clip of her starting to hang out with me in the indoor arena while i'm doing things with like my kids so like this is little evelyn riding teddy over there and Efa is hanging out with me in the arena you see she's still got her fly mask on and uh, as you can see she's a little bit fiddly to start with she's like what's going on like what are we supposed to do is that okay? Like, what's what are we doing in here? And you can see little Evie's just going around in her posting trot. So it's great for Aoife to be around other horses riding so she can kind of see what that all looks like and how, um, like how to kind of respond and that it's okay to be quiet. And one of these things when we're taming these Mustangs or we're working with young horses, green horses, it's so good to just be around calm energy and so Teddy's going around he's the best horse he's just plodding along being super quiet and chill as my little Evelyn's getting ready for the horse show that's coming up and practicing her poles courses and he's not going to feed off um, or or kind of give in to any nervous anxious energy so of course there's other horses that are in for training too or we've got boarders that have horses that are training and they're they're getting used to things and they may be spooky or flighty and she's not at a point in her training where she'd be ready to be around that because that might be overwhelming or too much for her or cause her to become anxious so i always try to make sure that i'm careful about what kind of energies i'm mix matching because if you get too much um, nervous energy skittish skittish like unsure energy all together at once then you're just kind of asking for a little bit of a catastrophe would be uh, not so good and so you really want to balance that out having being careful what horses you have around this is a, a different viewpoint different angle here and so it's something like if you if you are working with a young horse a green horse really think about we hear that phrase all the time set it up for success and that can mean so many things in so many different circumstances but for me one of those things is kind of thinking and planning ahead of, okay, where's my horse at in their training level? What kind of horses am I putting my horse with or working my horse with, riding, whatever it is you're doing, even, you know, whether it's trail riding, being in the arena, doesn't really matter what the circumstance is. But if you see a lot of nervous horses, skittish, spooky, you know, energy kind of high horses around, I wouldn't want to be in that unless the horse that I'm working with is super self-regulated and connected to me and able to manage all of that external energy anxiety spookiness because horses do function as social herd animals and so if everybody else is upset then they're going to want to be upset too it's kind of similar to people because if you were to see a lot of upset people you might be inclined to get worried and anxious yourself versus if you're in a room full of calm people so it's one of the things that we really want to think about. And this is just a great win-win here where my daughter's getting to practice her little poles courses and she's riding Teddy going around. But I'm also getting to hang out with Aoife, which is letting her see how calm, relaxed, you know, we treat the horses well, all of those pieces. But also sometimes people think that when you're training a horse, you have to always do something. You know, I should be asking the horse to back up or move her shoulders or Whatever it is that, you know, there's so many things you can ask a horse to do. Here you can see she kind of pulled back a little bit, wasn't sure. And what I'm mostly just doing is setting some polite, simple boundaries of, okay, stay on this side of my body, 
or we'll walk over here or walk over there, but we're mostly just hanging out. We're just learning to enjoy being in each other's presence. Every so often I try scratching her to see if I can find a spot that she likes. And uh, sometimes I leave her alone and we just walk a little bit and we move a little bit. And so she's learning, okay, we just, we hang out, we can feel relaxed together and there's no pressure to perform or do something. It's just us being there. And this is great because like Teddy there, you can see he trotted right past her pretty close and she's learning that that's okay. And it's also getting her used to having a person up above her because when you're riding, you're up above the horse's eye line. And that can be a little intimidating to some horses. And then I decided to let her eat her dinner off of the pedestal just to do something a little different and get her used to kind of exploring different spaces and thinking through different puzzles. If we always do everything the same way all the time, then we're losing opportunities to get the horse used to change and things being a little bit different. Because the more we keep things the same, like the exact same routine and the exact same stall with your food the exact same way, the hay always placed the same way, all of those pieces, then there can be a lot of stress or anxiety when that's changed, which is totally reasonable to understand. So if you guys enjoyed seeing her little update, uh, let me know what you guys think of Aoife. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and check out HarmonyHorsemanship.com for even more learning.